So you guys have been requesting for me to do some more coin magic. I'm happy to do that for you. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a three coin trick that is easy to do, and I'm going to introduce to you a couple new slights that I have not taught before, and bring back one that I have, and combine them all together to this really cool three coin trick. That's coming right up, right after this. Well, welcome back to Presto Paul TV. If we have not met before, I am your host, Presto Paul. And on this channel, I teach you the best tricks, tips, and techniques on how to do magic for beginners. We have a blast around here. As a matter of fact, our motto over there says it all. You gotta have fun. You'll live longer. I want us to have some fun today, so let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the magic. So here's a quick and easy three coin trick using three coins and two hands. Coin number one goes into the left hand. Coin number two goes into the left hand. Coin number three goes down inside the pocket. Watch carefully because all I have to do is wiggle the thumbs and magically that coin appears back from the pocket into my left hand. I will do this again in case you blinked, in case you missed it. Watch coin number one and coin number two go into my fist just like this. Coin number three goes down inside the pocket. All I have to do is wiggle the thumb and magically that coin jumps back into my hand one more time. Third time's a charm as they say. Watch coin number one and two goes into my left hand. Coin number three goes down inside the pocket just like that. All I have to do is wiggle that thumb and magically they all vanish just like that. Find out how to do this simple trick right now. And now for the secret of the three coin trick. It uses four coins, not three. You have an extra coin. Who knew? Now you know, you have an extra coin. This coin is an extra coin, which is gonna get you ahead in the trick. That's what we call it, getting ahead in a trick. So this coin is gonna be hidden from the beginning in your palm in what's called finger palm position, which is at the base of your fingers where your palm meets, and you're just gonna curl your fingers like that retaining the coin right there. I have taught this in detail on another video. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can see that as well as over here in a card so you can go to that after this video. So that's where you wanna start. The three coins here are going to be possibly in your pocket from the beginning. And if you do it that way, you're gonna have all four coins in your pocket. Actually, you're gonna finger palm the coin while it's in your pocket and come out with it ready and display the three coins on the table. Now, coins do what we call talking. They make noise, and you don't want to hear noise in your pocket when you're not supposed to hear noise. So a little secret to that is tissue paper. I take a couple pieces, two or three pieces of tissue, and I shove it down in my pocket of my jacket. Now, if you don't have a jacket you're gonna perform in, uh, you're gonna do it in your pants pocket, that's perfectly fine. Just make sure you have something to deaden the sound inside the pocket, which I'm gonna get to in just a second. So you start from the beginning here with a coin finger palm like this. You're going to display the coins and you're gonna say, I'm gonna do a three coin trick with three coins and two hands. You can gesture with this hand quite a bit and it's what's called Ramsey subtlety where you can basically show your hand empty, but it's not because it has that coin secret right there. So the first move of this is you're going to place one coin legitimately in your left hand, from your right hand to the left hand. The second coin, you're gonna to toss this into your left hand. It's gonna make noise, and at the same time, you're gonna to toss the coin that is hidden in your finger palm position. So it's gonna look like this, and I'm gonna to toss both of them at the same time as your hands are gonna close, your fingers will block, you might get a little flash, but that's okay because you're tossing the coin over. Watch closely, I'll try to do this slow. And you just toss that extra coin with the second coin that you had there. This coin here is gonna go into your pocket, but it's not gonna stay in your pocket. When you place this coin in your pocket, you're just gonna quickly finger palm it one more time and bring it out. Rest your hand on the table in a natural position, just relax. No one's gonna be looking for that. They just saw two coins go here, and if you did this right, they saw a coin go into the pocket. So it's gonna look something like this when you put it in the pocket, just for a moment. And right now, I'm putting it in that finger palm, and I'm coming right out, and I'm just resting it on the table casually. You can even point with your finger towards the hand 
that supposedly has two coins, but now we know there's three. You wiggle the thumbs or whatever magical gesture you wish to do, and you open your hand showing three coins. So here is my point of view of how this trick works. You have one coin in the beginning, finger pong, just like that. You're going to pick up this coin over here, toss it into your left hand. You're going to toss the next coin as well as the coin that you have hidden in finger palm and it's going to look like this. Just as your hands curl up, just as this hand curls up under cover, you're going to drop that coin with this coin as well that was without it. So this time I'll do it with it. You have that one there. You just toss both coins over and close your hand. You take this coin and go to your pocket and you put it in your pocket for a second, but you keep it in finger palm and bring it back out. You make a gesture, three coins come back. And then you're going to do the next phase of this. You grab the two end coins and you display them like this. Remember, we have one hidden right there. So you can do this very casually and you want to mirror your two hands so they look the same. This looks like I have a coin in finger palm, which I don't, but I will in a second in this hand, but this one's already like that. So you're gonna take this coin, you're gonna place it in position of your left hand here to show, uh, to show everybody, but you're gonna be finger palming that one in just a second. I'm gonna teach you what's called a utility move. So we're gonna show these two coins as the only two coins. So that one goes right there at the base of your finger, getting ready to do the finger palm. The second one goes somewhere on your palm. It doesn't really matter. You're going to, I'm gonna to try to do this slow. You're gonna curl your fingers over this. At the same time, you're gonna turn your hand over and you're gonna open this hand to meet this one. So it's going to look like these two coins were tossed into this hand and you could display them like that. But now you have this one in this finger palm. Let me do that again for you, and that way you can see it. And I'm gonna do a backstage view of this so you can see it as well. The second phase from my point of view is you're going to place one coin at the base of your left fingers in readiness to get this finger palm. This coin goes onto this hand right here. You're going to toss this coin. This one's gonna stay, but this one's gonna join the one in this hand. So this is the utility move where it looks like you're tossing two coins from here to here, but you're actually tossing one coin, keeping that one there, and now you have two in this hand. So that's what it looks like. And you just toss it over there. You can take those up here. You're gonna place them in the top of your hand right here in this little hole. So what you have is your two coins plus the one that you retained right there. You're just gonna loosen your grip and it's going to join the other one. Don't worry about it making noise here because that's gonna be fine that that happens. So at speed, you go one, two coins, open your hand, they fall in there. This time this coin goes to your pocket and it stays in your pocket. You have nothing. So you can gently gesture towards this hand showing three coins. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, do me a favor, give me a big thumbs up like that one right over there. Hey, and if you haven't done it yet, if you're considering doing it, do it now. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Let's get back to the magic. So from this position, once again, you're going to toss the two coins, but you're gonna keep this one and it's gonna join this one that's already over here just like that and it'll make a noise and everybody's eyes will follow your hands going across you pick them up like this now you have that one finger palm you just make a light fist and you place these two coins at the top of your hand all you have to do is open your hand slightly and it will slide those two coins down in to join that third coin which is already there and you don't make a big deal about that coins are going to clink inside your hand because you're putting two in there they won't realize there's a third coin in there this time you're gonna take this coin to your pocket and you're actually gonna leave it in there. Now you have that tissue paper in your pocket if you're doing it with a jacket or any kind of pocket. Just make sure you put it off to one side because in a moment all these coins are gonna go in that pocket and we don't want them to talk. So now it's gonna come back out and you show the three coins. There's one more phase to this, the third phase. This is the cleanup and the complete vanish of all three coins. So you're going to take the coins and you're gonna place them in your right hand. This is another move, I'm teaching you two moves extra today, but these are totally doable. This is called multiple coins across without having them go across. You're going to 
make it look like and sound like those two coins went in there, but they didn't because they're right here. So if you have multiple coins in your hand, doesn't matter how many, you can just tip your hand forward, those coins will fall right into that finger palm position as you're tossing them into your hand, but you're not, you're keeping them right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show this to you from the backside as well so you can see this close up from my point of view. I'm gonna do the final phase, which is the other move, which is the multiple coins which is gonna look like you're taking these coins and actually doing that, but you're not going to do that. You're going to take these coins and turn your hand over and they will fall right there into that finger palm position. So you can see what that looks like. You could do this with as many coins as you want, uh, just as a separate trick altogether, but you're gonna have that one coin there. So you just lay the coins on your palm, just kind of overlap like that. And all you have to do is open this hand Close this hand slightly as you turn your hand over. It is covered by those fingers, so no one's gonna see it, but they're gonna hear what sounds like coins going from hand to hand. Don't do it that way. This is difficult looking over the camera. So I'm gonna to try to get it in my point of view for you so you can see it. So it looks like that. You take those away. You take this one along with the two that you just retained. Put those away in your pocket very quietly. Then you can come out here, and again, you can gesture, showing your hand empty, wiggle your thumbs, whatever magical gesture you wanna do. And there you go, that's my point of view of this trick. So once again, you lay two coins on your palm, and you just drop them into your hand as you're tossing them across, but you're not, they're not there, they're right here. You're gonna take this third coin now, and this is the cleanup. Now this is where you need to be careful when you put it in your pocket, not to make them talk. You put one coin off to the side somewhere, you need to experiment with this. And the other two coins you put in there very gently, you come out and you're gonna do the last part where you're gonna wiggle your thumbs, do a little subtlety here, and you can open your hand real quickly as a, as a proven that your, your hand is empty, even though they think maybe they got ahead of you that you might've been hidden one, but you're not anymore. So you're clean, you're completely clean. You wiggle that thumb and make that last coin vanish. All three coins have gone. And that's how you do the coins to the pocket and the complete vanish. Well, there you go, my friends. Another coin trick to add to the arsenal of tricks that you have learned here on Presto Paul TV. I appreciate you guys coming back each and every week and watching my videos. If you're enjoying my videos, give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet, I hope you would consider subscribing. And remember, you gotta have fun. You'll live longer. I'll see you next week. So I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to do some coin magic because you want to learn how to do 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 do